chapter one, lesson two is comparing and ordering numbers. So comparing versus ordering. So when we compare, it's usually just two numbers. When we order, it's usually multiple numbers. So again, this is just an extension of grades one, two and three. So everything that we learned in grade two and three, we apply here. The only difference is the numbers are bigger. And the bigger the numbers are, the more stressful they are. So uh, the idea is when we're comparing, we just look at a single place value at a time. So we start, in this case, we start with a 10,000th place. If those are the same, then we go to the thousands place. If those are the same, then we go to the hundreds place and so on and so forth. So don't look at the whole number, just look at a single place value at a time. Okay, also we will be asked to come up with a, a greatest and smallest even or odd numbers. These may prove to be challenging. So. Again, you have to be able to think critically so that it's easier. And I will be showing a strategy to make things easier as well. So we begin with page 18. Uh, and I've selected a few numbers from this page. Okay, so starting with problem number four, where it says, which is the greatest? We start with a 10,000th place. And if we'll notice, all of them start with a five. So then we go to the thousands place. There's a four, there's a three, there's a four, and there's a three. We want the greatest. So therefore, it should be the ones that follows the five with a four. Which means between these two, the greatest will be the 400 over the 200. So which means 54,414 is the greatest. So the same strategy will be applied with the smallest. So we start by looking at the 10,000th place. They're all four. If we look at the 1,000th place, there's a zero, a one, and a zero. Since we want the smallest, it will be the ones with a zero. And then if we go to the next place value, there's a 100 and there's a 200. Therefore, the smallest is the 40,123. Again, we don't want to stress the kids by looking at the whole series of numbers. Okay, so in the next problem, it says, arrange in increasing order. So if we want to arrange in increasing order, we start with the... 10,000th place. So the smallest is 14,325. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a number one here. Okay, then I look for the next smallest because we want increasing order. So that means the next one will be the three. So that means that will be my number two. And then followed by the four, which is my number three, and number four. So if they want to arrange an increasing order, you write 14,325 first, then followed by 31,425, followed by 41,325, and lastly, 51,324. Okay, so finally, the question says, what is the smallest five-digit odd number? That can be formed using 9, 2, 0, 4, and 7. So if it wants the smallest, we always start with the smallest number. However, in this case, we cannot start with a 0. So which means the second smallest number will be the 2. Okay, then we're going to put three blanks to help us. Okay, then we know that it has to be an odd number. So if it has to be an odd number, it should end with a odd number. And there's only two choices of odd. That would be 9 or 7. 
But since it wants the smallest, we always end with a largest odd. So which means it should end with a 9. Okay, the rational there is if we want the smallest, the smaller number should be saved for the earlier place values. Okay, so which means since I've used the 2 and the 9, I'm left with a not the 2, the 4, and the 7. So a range from smallest to largest would be 0, 4, 7. Making the smallest 5-digit odd number to be 20,479. However, if it says the smallest 5-digit even number, that means we still start with a 2. So I'll put it here as extra lesson. So it starts with a 2, should end with an even. So that means the even choices are 2, 0, and 4. If it wants the large, the smallest, okay, we should end with a largest even. So among the even, the largest is 4. Okay, so that we can save the smaller numbers for the starting. So that means arranging 9, 0, and 7 for the smallest would be 0, 7, and 9. Making 20,794 the smallest 5-digit even number. That concludes Lesson 2 of Chapter 1. See you in the next lesson.